Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Tahir from Family Pediatrics and thank you so much for joining me today. Today I'll be talking to you guys about an important topic that's important for every parent with a newborn baby and that topic is about poop. This is the Dr. Tahir scoop on poop. So I want you to listen to this. I'm going to give you five important poop facts. If you know these poop facts, you will be uh, ahead on your poop IQ, okay? So um, remember these things. I do have it on my website at kenoshakidsdoctor.com. Go to the learning link and uh, newborn issues. You'll see an article there that's uh, titled Top 5 Baby Poop Facts That All Parents Should Know. I'll be using that article as I talk to you to review that, okay? All right, poop fact number one. It is very important to know that some babies poop many, many times a day and some babies poop once every few days. It's okay for some babies to poop once every five days. It sounds crazy, I know. It sounds scary, I know. Uh, but if your baby is uh, happy and otherwise drinking and uh, not having too many problems, then it's okay to not have a bowel movement every day. Your baby's tummy needs to be soft though, and they need to be happy, sleeping well, not having any problems. When they do poop, the stool needs to be soft and mushy. It should not be coming out like hard little pebbles. That's not normal. That can be constipation. But just the length of how long it is between the stool, there's a lot of variation. So don't worry too much if your baby is going many, many times a day versus just uh, once in a few days. If your baby is, uh, if you're breastfeeding your baby, most likely you'll have a lot of poops, a lot of mushy stools in the day. However, with formula fed babies, the frequency of stooling goes down. But I'll tell you, I see all combinations. And especially if a baby is breastfeeding and supplementing with formula, you'll see all different combinations. It's very hard to predict. All right, so number one fact is down. Awesome, we'll go to number two. Number two fact, fact. Your baby's stool will be as runny as brown gravy, mushy as mashed, pot mashed potatoes, or formed as toothpaste. So the point is, it can be a lot of different consistencies. Uh, it could be pretty mushy, it could be formed. What we don't want to see is we don't want to see hard stool. And uh, sometimes it's hard to tell if the stool is hard. And what you can do is, um, when your baby uh, stools, take your diaper, take the baby's diaper, and simply squish the stool uh, inside the diaper. You don't have to use your fingers on the stool, but use your diaper and squish the stool inside the diaper and see how it feels. If it's soft and mushy, then it's okay. However, if it feels hard, then that's not okay. That can mean that your baby may have constipation, all right? Other than that, all sorts of different consistencies that you will see. That's fact number two. Now we'll go on to fact number three. Baby poop comes in all sorts of colors. So the colors that you will see is going to be a lot of different shades of yellow, um, of brown, and um, also of green. I know that green sounds scary, but that color is from bile that our liver makes. So sometimes stool can be green and it can look very worrisome. So I want you to know not to worry too much about that. Depending on the uh, diet your baby's on, if you change your baby's diet from formula to breast milk or vice versa, or start adding solids in your baby's uh, diet, for example, the uh, color will change. So don't worry too much. There's a few colors that are not normal, all right? Red color is not normal. That indicates that there's blood in the stool. Uh, likewise, uh, white color is not normal. That means that the liver is not making enough bile and black color is not normal. That means that there may be some old blood in the stool. So the colors that are not normal is going to be the um, uh, red, white, and black, all right? Those colors are not good. If you feel that your child is having those kinds of stool, make sure you let your doctor know so they can check it out and make sure everything is okay. That's fact number three. Fact number four we'll go on to. Fact number four is that I want you to know that some babies may grunt, may cringe, may turn red, may cry when they're passing stool. It is very, very common and normal for babies to do that. So when you notice your baby grunting or turning red, I don't want you to worry too much, okay? Uh, sometimes babies feel bad as a painful experience. Sometimes they feel uncomfortable. A lot of it has to do with just their nerves being developed in such a way that they may feel like that. 
Um, if your baby is uh, screaming when they're passing stool, that's not normal. That may be a sign of some kind of an allergy problem their baby has. Make sure you talk to your doctor about that. But otherwise, turning red, grunting, cringing um, is okay. Same thing happens with passing gas too. Sometimes uh, babies will pass gas and they cry or they scare themselves. And that is normal too, all right? So um, poop fact number five. Baby poop and gas can smell pretty bad. You know, for the longest time, I had no idea why moms always compared their baby's gas to the smell of their father's gas. I know for certain that mother's gas must smell bad too. Um, but mothers choose to compare it to the father's gas for whatever reason. Anyway, um, it can smell bad. It can smell like adult poop and gas can smell like adult gas. And the reason for that is that your baby's uh, intestines has similar microorganisms in there and digestive uh, systems that are going on to, to digest the food. So don't be surprised if your baby's poop is smelly. Um, just because of the natural metabolism that happens inside the baby. All right, so you guys, those are your five poop facts. I'd like you to remember those. Those are the, that's the scoop on poop from Dr. Tahir. Hope you have a wonderful day. And please share this with your friends and uh, parents who have little babies. Thank you.